you. Oh, Hado. Are you going to be a distraction the whole time? Oh, you got my thumb. All right. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Haley. If you guys are new and if you are a returning subscriber, <laughs> this is how I know I need a new intro. What I was saying is if you guys have not already clicked the subscribe button or follow along on social media, this is your opportunity. Over the past month or so, you guys have been asking me to film a how to be a healthy student video and I can honestly say this is my area of expertise. Now, I'm not saying you have to be a student to follow these tips. This can be if you are a working person or just somebody who is looking for some hacks to fit a healthy lifestyle into their previous lifestyle or update their lifestyle. So this is going to be five things that you guys can do to start living a healthier life. It's budget friendly, it's time saving, and you can do it. I know you can, there are no excuses. So let's get into it. First of all, why should we be healthier? When you are treating your body kinder, you're giving it healthy foods, you're exercising, it actually can improve your cognitive memory, which is awesome because then it's going to make studying so much easier. Exercise can reduce stress. That's a major one for me and probably a major one for you if you're a student. The better you take care of yourself, the better your body takes care of you. Helps keep your immunity good so that way you get sick a lot less. You are just cleaning away. A lot of people give excuses that they don't have the time, it's too expensive, they don't have what they need on campus or in their dorm rooms, or they're on a campus meal plan. But statistics show money really is not a factor that you can eat super healthy for less than $1.50 a day. Remember, a healthy lifestyle is not about perfection, it's just about consistency, nothing is linear in life. So if you wanna have a slice of pizza or have a couple drinks with friends, that's okay. You don't have to be gung-ho for every single thing. Just over time, you should have those habits. Now this might seem super simple to some of you and it might be completely foreign, but here are a list of foods that you should try to start incorporating into your diet and here are some that you should probably limit. Fruit, veggies, fish, nuts whole grains, probiotic yogurts, and water. Now again, I'm gonna preference this, but this isn't 100% all the time. You can have these foods every once in a while, so here they are. Fried foods, super high foods, super high foods. I don't eat the high foods. Foods that are high in added sugars, very processed and refined foods, and 100% juice. What? Haley, juice is like super trendy. Everybody drinks juice. I have my opinions. You're actually missing benefit nutrients when you eat the whole fruit versus drinking the juice. You're missing out on fiber and other types of nutrients that you're not gonna get unless you eat the actual fruit. So I would definitely say to limit the amount of juices that you're intaking. Plus you do need to start having soluble foods. You should not have a 100% liquid diet all the time. It's not healthy. The way that your body processes and digests liquids versus foods is completely different and you're also missing out on things like proteins and most likely fats. I know there are some juices that are like pressed nuts and seeds and things like that, but still you need to be digesting solid foods. Also, I want to preference that if you do participate or practice a different dietary theory, such as veganism, paleo, maybe you're dairy or wheat-free, whatever, these tips can still apply to you. You just need to make the alterations that are for your diet. Some staples in my diet that cost less than $2 per serving are as follows. Whole wheat bread is about 18 cents per serving. Brown rice is also about 18 cents per serving. So right there, those are two good carbohydrates that you guys can incorporate into your diet, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You guys can make sandwiches out of them, toast, healthy French toast, fry, stir fry, st fries, stir fries. You can even do sweet rice if you don't wanna have like oatmeal in the morning, you can just substitute it for the brown rice. Single servings of Greek yogurt usually cost about a dollar. You're getting good protein and probiotics, which is good for your gut flora, and having good gut flora and good healthy bacteria in your system is great for having everything work properly, keeps inflammation down, keeps your digestive tra track, there we go, your digestive tract moving smoothly. Frozen veggies on average are about 25 cents per serving, and obviously they're gonna keep a lot longer than fresh vegetables, so if you do have a freezer on your campus, get some frozen veggies. Plus I've been buying like a lot of really fun flavors and blends and stuff like that now. Like Bird's Eye has a lot of really cool veggie options, cauliflower, mashed potatoes and tater tots and things like that. Fresh spinach is about 33 cents per serving. I buy spinach by the buckets. I throw it into my smoothies. I have it in my omelets. I make big salads out of it. You can do so much with spinach. It's got iron, it has protein, it has fiber, lots of micronutrients. It's a great full 
green that you should have in your diet. For all my vegans, canned beans. I personally like beans either way. I love to use them and puree them in my baked goods to keep my protein high and my carbs low, my fiber high. It's a great alternative. I talk about my black soybean brownies all the time. I'll have that recipe linked down below for you guys. But canned beans are super inexpensive and again, they're a great protein source and you can do a lot with them. Bean burgers, soups, baked goods, salads. Canned tuna is also a great option. It's usually about 70 cents per serving. It's also non-perishable. You don't have to refrigerate it. You can get the little packs that just open like you tear them open. So they're easy for on the go. You don't need the can opener and they taste really good. They have a lot of fun flavors right now. I love the Star Kissed flavors. They have like a lemon pepper, a ranch, a buffalo, and I think a mango something. Also, if you guys are needing some healthy recipes, I will have my healthy macro-friendly eBooks linked down below for you guys. They're super simple recipes. I even have a college or dorm approved recipe guide that you guys can just download, print it out and have. And it just has a lot of really cool, fun recipes like pizza and ice cream and waffles and pancakes and things that you guys can make healthy in your dorm room for little monies. Now that we have some food ideas out of the way, now, like any good student, scheduling and planning is key and it goes for your health and fitness as well. If you're not making your fitness and your meal prep a routine, a set thing, a non-negotiable, it might not happen. So just as you write down your assignments and your tests, write down when you're working out, when you're preparing your foods, when you're going to the grocery store, maybe get a friend involved. You guys can have gym dates. You guys can have study gym dates. Go for a walk and quiz each other. There are tons of different ways that you guys can, you know, use this as a bonding time, as a time to hang out, but you're getting two, done, two birds done. What's that saying? Killing a little bird with, we shouldn't kill things. Look, you're being productive. You guys can also use my free printouts that I had for my study hacks video. It works really well for health and fitness goals and planning as well. So I will have that linked below for you. The fourth tip is have a study sweat sesh. I had a bunch of you guys guess this in my back to school school supplies haul. I'd say that 10 times fast. I asked you what we could do with the flashcards that has to do with health and fitness. And a lot of you guys gave me some good answers, but no one hit the nail on the head. So in between your study sessions, set your timer for maybe 15 to 20 minute increments. And every time that alarm goes off, you will have a flashcard. Now you're going to have to do this ahead of time, but get a stack of flashcards and write out some workouts. Go onto Pinterest and find some little like at home workouts that you can do, maybe body weight style, or if you have dumbbells, you can use dumbbells or resistance bands. Oh, we're back. Write a bunch of workouts out on these cards, shuffle the deck, and when your alarm goes off at your 15 to 20 minute break, pick a card and do that workout for as many rounds as you want. It's a good way to not only take a break from studying, get your endorphins going, but it's just kind of like makes it a little bit more fun. You can kind of look forward to your workout and your studying. It's also great for those days that you don't have time to go to the gym, but you still want to do something. You can also make a game out of it. So if you're studying with your friends and you go against each other, whoever doesn't get the answer right has to pick a card and do the workout. And I know if you're in college, you're probably doing drinking games that are very similar. If you do something wrong or you don't win, you drink. Well, let's, we're gonna switch this. You're gonna exercise when you get it wrong. Same thing goes for your meal prep. If you don't have a lot of time, take some little breaks in between your studying to cut up some veggies, throw some chicken in the oven or reverse that process. As you're doing your meal prep, if you have some downtime, something's cooking and you have like 15 to 20 minutes, take that time to go over a chapter or review your notes. Most colleges and schools have different types of like groups or clubs that you guys can join and you guys can get involved in those. And that way you have accountability partners and friends doing the classes with you. And it's just a fun way to not only be social, especially if you're new on campus, but it's getting you moving and getting your exercise in, in a fun way. There are also some obvious things like walking to class, taking the stairs, maybe riding a bike to class, but doing as much movement as you can, because if you're sitting in class all day and then you're studying, you're not getting a lot of steps in and your NEAT or your non-exercise activity levels are low and those are key for being healthy. You can also go on quiz walks. So just go for a walk, you and your friend and quiz each other. A couple of my favorite dorm room friendly recipes. I will have 
right here for you guys. So what about the food? What can you make in a dorm for breakfast, lunch, dinner? Cost effective, healthy, tasty, easy to do, make ahead, that sort of stuff. Well, my first favorite thing was definitely overnight oats. I will have a recipe down there for you guys. Pumpkin overnight oats is so good. You can make wraps and smoothies for breakfast, change up the variety. It's super simple and you don't need a lot of space. I also recommend doing mason jar salads. They don't take up a whole lot of room in the fridge. They're easy and they're safe because they're not using a ton of plastic. You do have a microwave, and if you are somebody who's afraid of the microwave, anti-microwave, then that's on you, but you can do a lot with a microwave. And one of my favorite things is mashed potatoes, so mashed sweet potatoes actually, in the microwave with a little bit of coconut oil or almond butter, some stevia and cinnamon. Oh my goodness. But like I said, if you guys want some more recipes, check out my eBooks down below. I also have some other videos that you guys can check out that are all health and fitness related. I'll have them linked below. But I hope these ideas gave you guys some little inspiration to get back on track as a student. Hopefully they were helpful. I'd love to have your feedback. So leave me a comment and thumbs up this video if you want more videos like this. Don't forget to subscribe and follow along on social media, especially my Hales Health account. I post workouts and recipes over there and some discounts and stuff for products all the time. So check that out. But in the meantime, I hope you guys are doing well and I will see you in the next video. Bye.